Did you know that designers count letters all the time? It's kind of like counting cards, except it's legal, and it does a world of difference to your design. We're going to learn about it today on... Hi there, I'm Brent Spohr, and welcome to Stuff Designers Do. In this episode, we're going to talk about text columns and how to make them more visually appealing to your audience. I'll give you some simple tips on how to determine that optimum width for that text column. Let's take a look. When laying out a document for your viewers, you have to take into consideration when there are text fields uh, as part of your layout, you want to take into consideration the length or width of those uh, text fields. Something like this is is just way too hard on the eyes. It's just too long, it's too wide, it's, it's really hard for your eye to determine. So this is just not a good idea. Now what we have here is actually a well laid out paragraph. It's not as wide, yes the font is a little bit larger, but the acceptable width of a paragraph is generally around 45 to 75 characters wide. So that's from here to here, counting this number of spaces or characters across the width. And that's going to give you a, an acceptable reading size for a paragraph. So whether this was a large font or a small font, we want to try to stick to this rule of the 45 to 75 characters wide. Here we've got another paragraph. And this one is using a little rule of thumb that I like to use um, that kind of gives me kind of gets me close to that 66, ideal 66 width. Um, so basically, what we're trying to shoot for here is a 66 character width. Uh, rule of thumb is you take the height of the type and you times it by 30. But it doesn't always come out to 66 characters. You see we've got a, a font here that's 47 pixels high. We times it times 30, and that gives us 1410 in pixel width. So that actually is demonstrated by this line here. And it shows us that 66 characters, which is this paragraph, kind of comes a little bit short. Now let me explain why. The reason being is because this font is what's called a condensed or compressed font, meaning that it's narrower than it is tall. So it's been kind of squished a little bit. So with something like that, we can generally get a few more characters and, and kind of fudge the room on this rule a little bit. And in our, in our case here, that gives us about 82 characters. So this is what an 82 character um, paragraph would look like in this font. Now, my opinion on this is it's a little bit too wide. It's it's pushing the envelope a little bit, but it falls within the mathematical realm of all these uh, things that we've been talking about of this ideal width is what we're shooting for. So it's, it's acceptable, but we would probably want to go with something a little shorter. So basically, we have two simple rules. One, don't go any less than 45 characters wide on your paragraphs or they're going to get harder to read. And two, try to shoot for an ideal width of 66 characters. It's a great way to keep people interested and keep the eye happy. And that's the way a paragraph should be. So there you have it. It takes a little math and some thought. But in the end, your text column is much easier to read and will retain the attention of your reader. That's all we have for now. Until next time, I'm Brent Spohr. Be awesome.